Welcome back to the channel, man. Welcome back. I told y'all, I told y'all, Young Dolph got set up by the cookie shop security guard. He was the only person that was notified ahead of time that he was coming to Memphis and they booked out the cookie shop to do the music video with Key Glock, Big Moochie, Grape, and Snoop Bands, and literally all of the PRE dudes was supposed to be there. Dolph came to get his money out the stash spot in the, in the safe of the cookie shop because they were supporting the local business, man. They try to help these folks in the cookie shop and they told the security guard young Dolph was coming little did everybody know the security guard is heavily on cmg side he literally hangs out with big jook every day and he's best friends with govlon and yo Gotti. and so once they tell him man as soon as he finds that out he's the one that dropped the location man like these dudes literally gave the info to the people who was a part of cmg and then once he he was low on his bread and everything like that man because it wasn't even tax time or anything it wasn't tax season he wasn't getting no bread so he called yo god he called big juke he told them hey they telling me Dolph coming up here on the 17th to do this da 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 blase blase right so then that's when they set everything in motion that's when they decide it's gonna be 500k on his head 100k whatever the case may be it was because the information was brought forward by the security guard that worked at the same cookie shop that he ended up getting hit up on and where is that guy now like where did he go that day was he working was he the one hiding in the back of the cookie shop with the apron because if you really think about it the security guard supposed to be armed and everything too so wouldn't that be the only person that's in the shop that actually would be questioned about did he pull did he was he the one that fired on young Dolph? now everything alleged but you got to really think about this one because once they solve this they're gonna know for a fact that it was somebody inside the cookie shop that busted first at young Dolph. because the way the forensics and the ballistics showed the holes in the wall it was a lot of holes going outwards out the shop like it was somebody in the shop trying to do something man and so where was the security guard where can we where was he in the footage how come they're not saying that he's there is he the anonymous person that the fans have in witness protection that they're not releasing yet because once they get everybody to come take the stand they have to do a roll call of all the employees that was working that day when makita's raven takes the stand and they ask about the security guard she's gonna have a tough time covering up for him and trying to explain the fact that that's the guy that actually everybody should be paying attention to the two guys that walked out the side of the cookie shop who was covering their back how could they just run out the back of the shop not knowing if it was going to be ops there or people ready to retaliate for young Dolph for other security that he might have had young Dolph brother the security guard from the cookie shop had to open the door for them to let him out because remember Dolph couldn't even get out the front door they had locked all the doors in the cookie shop so that nobody could escape in case Dolph woke up tied up from that chair and try to make a uh, like try to flee for it and everything like that so the security guard do open the back door and let the two guys out that 007 the witness saw coming out the side now they could have ran through the woods they could have went to pecan lane joy laying them two streets behind the cookie shop if you in memphis you will really notice and if y'all support young Dolph and you want to get justice for young Dolph, put the Dolph emoji put llyd long live young Dolph, and let me know where y'all from and how long you've been rocking with Dolph. so now what makes it so that they don't run into the woods they probably thought it was somebody like back there that would have got them and so when the security guard let them out the side door that's when the witness lady she was having a square right on the side of the family dollar she seen the two guys come out of there and walk into the family dollar not buy anything get out and then they go into some truck that was parked on the side some people say that it was 901 trigger trace truck some people say that it was a whole convoy of the people that was following young dog they had distractions they had people in front remember the, the guy in the, in the black pickup truck it was a dude with a backwards hat in the black pickup truck and he was trying to distract a whole lot of people while the two guys one of them had the dreads on walked out the side of the cookie shop got in the other car and left while the other dude is trying to distract everyone so nobody pays attention to the fact that it's actually suspects leaving the scene leaving the whole crime scene and everything like that so the young Dolph security guard that was young Dolph had his brother come and try to help him out and everything but the cookie shop security guard that's the 
like the get the giveaway right there what happened to the cookie shop security guard a lot of people were saying that they had a security guard they just got new cameras and footages because the cookie shop have been like they've been getting their registers ran through the past two weeks and everything like that and so they finally hired a security guard that came in he actually had a chopper in the cookie shop when when do, when they opened up the cookie shop and Maurice Hill he saw the security guard standing there with a whole chopstick and everything like that and then he looked to the left Dolph was already down and everything that's when they had to come up with the story of oh I didn't see I didn't even know it was Dolph that was down I thought his brother was sticking up the place himself they tried to say that it was young Dolph brother that fired all the rounds inside the cookie shop because they didn't want it to seem like they didn't want nobody to know that it was a whole security guard in there for the cookie shop that actually could have dropped the location where young Dolph was gonna be what time and everything because they need the security guard for the music video that's happening at the cookie shop if the security guard work at the cookie shop and they're having an event and somebody booked it and that like they need the security guard to be there so once they told him young Dolph is gonna be coming and you you need to work the security job at the cookie shop that day is gonna be this this and that there then he made the phone call to the CMG dudes and they called the street guys and they set the play up and ran it this is why everything happened so quick they actually were on a drop of the information like within two days of hearing what happened of, of hearing what was gonna go on at the cookie shop and when Dolph was gonna come into town they already called everybody and basically had them saying okay once Dolph goes to the cookie shop you have to do this you have to do that you're gonna lock the doors these people gonna come in through the back door already waiting for him they tried to snatch Dolph up at the Ruth Chris and everything like once they heard he was in town and what was going on and where he was gonna end up then they knew where to pretty much snatch him up at they snatched him up at the Ruth Chris and they knew he was supposed to be at the cookie shop the next day so overnight they snatched him up went here here try to clear all of his try to take all his bread and everything they try to get young Dolph jewelry they try to get his keys and all that kind of stuff this is why young Dolph keys was missing they already knew that when the whole play gets ran they wanted to have the keys to his car so they could take his car so they could take his like they could open up his mansion and everything and get you know what i'm saying so this is what was going on man so they knew to snatch him up at the ruth chris because the security guard from the cookie shop already said he's supposed to be at the cookie shop on the 17th so they're like okay let's get him on the 16th at the ruth chris in the parking lot throw him in the bentley truck then once they ride around in the Bentley truck all night trying to get all the young dolls valuables and everything like that then they take them to the cookie shop and well, however it happened in the U-Haul and the Bentley truck everybody been knowing like these type of scenarios that's been going on and then all of a sudden he gets tied up in the chair at the cookie shop blindfolded and everything with the duct tape gag ball and all that until somebody comes up boom then they he Dolph had the exacto knife he cut the tape off he did the one thing where you could break out the zip tie by like pulling your arms he did that boom but he acted like he was still tied up so then when the dude walked out the manager's office Dolph already cut everything but he still had his arms behind his back so that they didn't know he was actually he he could get up now and walk out and so once they left the room and then they came back in Dolph just played it cool then that's when he get the dude turned around that's when he get up he put him in a full Nelson body slam him he run out in the hallway once the dudes see him they swing Dolph duck he slide like he trying to do a baseball slide he slide he duck he slide like he's trying to do a baseball slide and everything he get back up he's in the lobby now once he gets into the lobby this is when all the henchmen like literally come in they had the stick chopsticks and everything they start blowing a young Dolph Dolph start doing the matrix and everything like that everything was flying this is why they hit the whole wall they couldn't even hit him at first then he get to the door as soon as Dolph get to the door he about to make a break for it then that's when the lady hit the button and locked the door and then that's when everybody just boom that's why and Dolph ended up by that front window man he was almost out of that shop and they locked the door on him and everything he was about to make a getaway once she hit that button that door locked that's why he was trying to bust the lock he had a whole he had the 45 on him he tried to bust through the lock boom boom 
then it was so many people that the secured the cookie shop security guard was already he already hit Dolph. Dolph fell, and then his watch with the baguettes smacked the window and the diamonds because certain rocks and stones will break windows and glass and stuff. So the diamond from his watch, boom, hit the window and shattered. That's how the arm out the window even happened, man. I want to send my condolences to Young Dolph. RIP to Dolph, man. RIP to the whole, like, condolences to the whole family, Mia J and everybody. This could have been avoided, man. Like, these dudes, man, there was a lot of people hating on Young Dolph, praying on his downfall and everything over a female, over some little petty beef. Like, that could have really been, they didn't have to do none of that. But you got to understand, people have to change their mentality, man. A lot of these dudes, they be looking up to these street guys and seeing, like, they still think of what, they still still think the way the same way as the guys who set up young Dolph you don't want to think like that you don't want to be like that you don't want to do anything like that and so at the end of the day y'all gotta realize that people need to be more of a role model people need to take care of their family people need to like find ways to get their generational wealth instead of trying to set up people in the streets instead of trying to push on this beef and everything and try to get your emotions involved and all of this stuff i know a lot of people they got big egos yo Gotti and them everybody in cmg they got a big ego they come from memphis they come from the streets they've been living like this their whole life everybody that's actually came up from the streets this is the way they've been living this is the way they know but people gotta stand up and be like you know what we don't gotta live like that no more we tired of seeing like big dogs and leaders fall in the community all because of the beef between two like man man us brothers we need to stick together we we have to stop beefing in the streets before everybody ends up gone man because this could happen to anybody and just like how they did it to young Dolph they could do it back to his ops too and this is the thing that keeps circulating around like the fact that anybody could get got these days and so this is why we have to stop getting each other so that we could all go and get it you see what i'm saying you know what i mean so at the end of the day man y'all gotta subscribe to the channel i'll put the rps to young Dolph. put the Dolph emoji llyd let me know where y'all from and i'm gonna catch y'all later peace